And I just think the goalkeeping coach at Birmingham, because I've been there now six years, my seventh, my seventh season there. So uh, he sort of made me into the keeper that, that I am today by training me for the full seven years. So I pay great gratitude to him, really. Probably last season against Wolves. I, I done quite well. I made about three or four, four good saves in the first half, which kept it nil nil. And then uh, we went one nil up, and they went two one up. Then we equalised, went three two up with about two minutes to go, and then they got a penalty in the ninety second minute or something, and I saved it. So uh, that was quite good, really, because I think the next week then we we won and we got promoted to promoted to the Premiership, which we're in this year. So yeah, that was probably my most memorable one. I don't know, probably Stamford Bridge, making my debut in the Premiership the other day was, was probably probably the biggest and best at the moment. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing at Old Trafford. I think that that's been my dream come true because obviously I'm, I'm a Man U fan as well. So so that would be nice nice to play there really. Striker wise, yes, yeah, probably dropped by the other way. He was he can he only actually came on, but you could see. His presence is he's good in the air, all round ability, everything. You've you got to be on your toes basically, because you mightn't expect him to shoot, and he, he could shoot. So uh, probably a drug player. I think Ronaldo's definitely up there. Ronaldo, and then obviously you've got Ronaldinho, and you've got a couple of Chelsea lads as well. But I think Ronaldo's probably just just pipped it. I used to idolise Peter Schmeichel when when he was when he was a goalie, because. I used to love Man U and I just loved goalkeepers and he was my idol basically but at the moment I think the best goalkeeper around is, is Peter Cech. It's fantastic. Obviously I made my I made my got my first cap against uh Ecuador in in the States, so oh, it was it was a dream basically because all you want to do anyone if you ask anyone they'd, they'd love to play any sport for your country. So uh Oh, it was it was a buzz. It was nerve wracking at the time, but then obviously once you get your first touch, the nerves sort of go, and it was it was unbelievable, basically. <laughs> Last year, I probably got about three or four times, not as as many as you would if you were in the academy, because obviously you're in first team football, you get the only breaks you sort of get are international breaks. So obviously this year, if if I'm hopefully I'm in I'm in the squads and. If I am, obviously, I don't think I'll, I'll be getting on that quite often this year. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the price you got to pay for pay for doing it, basically.